Voters in the Kingdom East School District are deciding today if they want to pass a $24 million bond to upgrade three of the schools within the district. According to the school board, the Lundberg Schools, Concord and the Burke Town School have what's called considerable health and safety issues. The list of repairs at these three schools are nearly a page long. Everything from rotted floors and mold to inadequate heating and ventilation, even structurally unsound buildings. But not every voter is happy about contributing to a $24 million bond. A school that some people have said is bursting at its seams with rotting and collapsing floors and inadequate restrooms. Those are just some of the issues students at the Burke Town School appear to face each day. The fix, a $24 million bond that will cover the cost of repairs not only at the Burke Town School, but also the Concord School and the Lunenburg Schools. My taxes are going up. If passed, some taxpayers within the district may notice a decrease in their bill for the first three years, but that's because of Act 46 incentives. Once those expire, homeowners can expect anywhere between a four and $259 increase in their taxes with a rate based on property value and location. I'm voting no. One, I can't afford any more money and I feel there's other places the money could go. Lindenville resident Lottie Nelson echoed the same sentiment as many other voters we spoke with, saying $24 million was a lot of money to only be dispersed between three schools. I don't know a lot about the small schools. I know they probably need some upgrades, but not $8 million worth. But former Burke Town School student Colin Gallagher says the money is worth it. I really think that it's a good idea because I know that um, I went to Burke Town School and I know that um, a lot of, some of the money is going to be going to, towards the gym there and it's really kind of underdeveloped compared to the other, other schools in the district. In the Northeast Kingdom, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News.